Dahlia Hawthorne is pure evil, a psychotic narcissist. She lies, manipulates, steals, and kills to get what she wants. In this video, I will be taking a look at her character over the course of Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. We start with everyone's favorite, Morgan Fay. Morgan Fay married a jeweler and had two daughters with him, twins named Dahlia and Iris. Once Misty Fay became the head of the Korean channeling technique, the jeweler divorced Morgan and ended up marrying another woman with a daughter named Valerie Hawthorne. Dahlia hated Iris and managed to manipulate her father into giving Iris away to Hazakura Temple. Fast forward to when Dahlia is 14 years old. She manages to seduce her tutor, a 25-year-old man by the name of Terry Falls, with the intent of using him to help steal a $2 million diamond from her father. Dahlia decided to perform a fake kidnapping, and that diamond would be the ransom. Dahlia also convinces Iris to help. Falls would pretend to kidnap Dahlia in order to get the diamond. We move to Dusky Bridge, where Valerie would deliver the ransom for her father. Dahlia and Valerie end up betraying Falls. Valerie shoots him, and Dahlia jumps off the bridge with the diamond in her bag, although it ends up being lost in Eagle River, so it was all for nothing. Dahlia disappears from the world. Valerie, who is actually a police officer, arrests Falls and testifies against him, framing him. He is sentenced to death row for killing Dahlia. Iris never shows up to help, which furthers Dahlia's hatred of her. This is just the first example in a long line of manipulation by Dahlia. And something else to note, while Dahlia disappeared, Valerie managed to find her and forge documents to give her an alias, Melissa Foster. Five years later, Falls managed to escape from prison when his transport breaks down. He calls Valerie and tells her to meet him at the Dusky Bridge to tell him about what happened five years ago, as he still doesn't know that Dahlia is the one who ended up betraying him. Valerie tells Dahlia that she plans to spill the beans, so Dahlia gets to Dusky Bridge before Falls, kills her own sister, and then poses as her in order to frame Falls in the murder. Moving to the courtroom, Mia Fey takes on Falls' case. Melissa Foster is a witness. Since it's Mia Fey, she eventually arrives at the truth. She reveals Dahlia's identity and everything that I've just told you, but in one final act of manipulation over Terry Falls, he commits suicide, drinking poison from a bottle that Dahlia gave him five years prior, with the promise to drink the poison if they ever stop trusting each other. Dahlia leaves the courtroom with a demonic smile on her face. Because of the Falls trial, Mia Fey and her colleague Diego Armando looked into Dahlia. When Dahlia caught wind of this, she invited Armando to the courthouse cafeteria to talk. She promptly poisons him using a bottle necklace, putting him into a coma, using poison she had stolen from her boyfriend, Doug Swallow. More manipulation from Dahlia Hawthorne. She then yeets herself right out of there and ends up in the library where she meets some dude named Phoenix Wright or something like that. She thinks, this guy looks like a loser. So she pretends to hit on him, and then gives him the bottle necklace as a gift. Phoenix now believes they are dating. Dahlia makes her own twin, Iris, who she hates, remember, pretend to be her, and date Phoenix for her keeping the bottle necklace under close watch and trying to get it back as its evidence against her. Once again, she manipulates somebody for her own gain. Fast forward eight months and Dahlia decides to get the necklace back herself as Iris has failed to get it back several times now. She decided that she would kill Wright by stealing more of Swallow's poison and then poisoning his cold medicine. However, before she could, she comes across Swallow warning Wright about Dahlia. Wright then pushes Swallow over and runs away. Realizing that Swallow was onto her, Dahlia kills him using a nearby power cable, framing Wright. Mia Fey takes on Wright's case. She proves everything, and Dahlia is sentenced to death. Five years later, Morgan Fey is in prison due to the events of Justice for All. Fey hatches a plan to get her daughter, Pearl Fey, to be the master of the Korean channeling technique. Pearl will channel Dahlia, who will then kill Maya Fey. Dahlia only agrees because she views killing Maya as the only way to get back at Mia Fey, as Mia is now dead. However, this plan was an absolute failure. Maya Fey survives and Misty Fey ends up being killed. How you ask? Well, Diego Armando, who is now awake from his coma under the guise of Godot, finds out about the plan and notifies Misty. They form their own plan. Misty would channel Dahlia so that Pearl could not, and then Godot would prevent Dahlia from killing Maya. This plan also fails. When Godot sees Dahlia, he succumbs to a desire for revenge. He ends up killing Dahlia, and by extension killing Misty. Dahlia's twin sister Iris ends up being accused of the crime, and Phoenix Wright takes up her case. At some point, Maya channels Mia and asks her for help. Maya follows her advice and ends up channeling Dahlia so that Dahlia will not kill her. 
All of this is revealed by Phoenix Wright and Mia Fey in the trial. Dahlia's final plan? A failure. Dahlia Hawthorne may be pure evil, but she's also a failure. Not a single one of her plans worked. She didn't get the diamond, she didn't successfully go into hiding, she didn't kill Diego Armando, she didn't get the bottle back from Phoenix, she didn't get away with killing Doug Swallow, and she failed colossally at killing Maya Fey. It's quite ironic that Morgan Fey's plan only caused Maya to become the master quicker. Thank you for watching, be sure to like and subscribe if you liked this video. See you in the next one.